Hi folks, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. So this is the problem from CSR 2013. According to this question, here you see this substrate react with tributyl tin hydride in the presence of A, B and which produce product. So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. Before moving to the problem, so we have already discussed a tributyl tin hydride in three parts, their preparation properties as well as reactivities. If anyone missed that video, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. So let's see how tributyl tin hydride going to useful in this particular reaction. So Initially, tributyl tin hydride, which react with AABN, which quickly produce tributyl tin radical. Here, AABN act as a radical initiator. So now you see this tributyl tin radical, which quickly abstract the bromine atom from this substrate. So resulting that carbon bromine bond homolytically cleavage takes place to produce this carbon center radical. Now this carbon center radical quickly react with this alkene bond so resulting that generate so new carbon center radical so now you see this carbon center radical near to the cyclopropane system so we already know that cyclopropane ring system one of the strainest ring system so therefore here strain release going to happen so how it will going to happen now you see this electron comes here and then followed by this carbon carbon bond homolytically cleavage takes place to produce this new carbon center radical now this carbon center radical going to react with tributyl tin hydride. So this radical quickly abstract the hydride from tributyl tin hydride to produce this corresponding product. When you redraw the structure, you will get this corresponding product structure. So here you should note it on the stereochemistry, which is most important in this reaction. So now you see this RL ether group contains a radical which is present at the bottom phase. So therefore, this radical react with alkene also takes place by bottom phase only. So resulting that now you see this RL group present at the bottom phase as well as this group also present at the bottom phase. So that means that so here also on hydrogen, here also on hydrogen, both hydrogens are present at the top phase. So which is most important in this particular reaction. So based on our discussion among the four answers, the correct answer for this question is option D. That's it for today's problem. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications so you never miss an update from Kim or Cam. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye bye.